Hi everyone, my name is Chihiro, and welcome back to JapanesePod101.com's Kantan Kana series. In the last lesson, we learned the first five hiragana characters. A, I, U, E, O. Do you remember them? Today, we'll move on to the next line in the hiragana chart. We'll start with ka. One, two, three. Notice the hane on the end of the first stroke. Try to make these two lines parallel. Now you can write kao. Which is face and ika. Which is squid. Our next character is ki. One, two, three, four. Ki is tricky because when it is printed, the third and fourth stroke are connected. When you write it, Make sure that they are separate. I have a trick for remembering ki. If you close up the circle and draw some more detail at the top, it kind of looks like a key. If you can think of a picture or a story that links the sound with the kana, it'll be a lot easier to remember. Here is eki. Station. And here is kaki. Persimmon. Ku is a really easy one. Just one stroke. Now you know the word for to write. And Aku or evil. Our fourth character today is Ke. One, two, three. Don't forget the hane on the first stroke. The bottom of the third stroke should curve inwards. Not straight up and down. Here is Ike. Pawn. And here is Kake. To bet. Just one more character today. The last one is ko. One, two. Here is koe. Voice. And here is kako. Pass. Let's try a short quiz. See if you can read these words. If you can, try and remember their meanings. Eki Station Ike Pond Kaku Right Now it's time for Chihiro's tip. Don't get lost in studying and forget the real world. Find kana around you. Don't see any kana? Go to JapanesePod101.com and check out the kana transcripts for every lesson dialogue. You may not be able to read them all yet, but you can get a feel for how the kana are used in real life. Have you ever eaten sushi? You'll be able to write it and much more in the next lesson. See you then!